morning. We just uh, come down from the mountains last night and we're down in the valley now in uh, the municipal campsite of Chamonix. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, <laughs> again, crazy French little place. Uh, there was no one on duty, so we just pulled up, parked up, took their electricity, uh, had showers. It was great, lovely clean site, uh, very basic and then went to reception this morning and paid up for the night. We are going to uh, probably have an explorer of the river this morning. Um, it obviously runs right the way down the valley and there's some uh, good waterfalls and some good wild swimming spots. So I think we're going to get on the bikes, explore because nothing's too far away, take the swimming kit and see what we can find. To years on this Monday I've been going back to school going back to work and this Monday find ourselves in the mountains sat by a lake with pretty much no one around It's cold enough. <laughs> it's good fun though. So, oh, probably about 20k on the bike up the valley. The river at the top was really, really cold. So we, uh, we came back to the van and had to come into this, but uh, it's cold and it's <laughs> blooming cold in the middle. Market and restocked again, and it was time to get a new box of wine. Another quality Van der Pays Blanc, um, nine euros a box. And again, put it in the fridge, get it as cold as you can, it'll be fine. To tell you about our IKEA purchase, um, when we've been to France before, we have probably drank a bit too much wine, so this is a litre bottle. We know we can fill one bottle, and that's all we can have in a night, no refilling. So this is it for tomorrow. Right, we thought we'd sneak to this far side of the campsite to uh, just let you see exactly what this campsite is all about and the fact that it would have been dead easy for us because we had set plans to go to Morzine and and Leger <laughs> and, then we, and then we were going to move <laughs> on and jump on uh, however like our wild guide is is just a revelation it is like our bible 
So we've got the English versions, the Scotland and Lake District and Yorkshire Dales one, because that's where we're going to be living soon. Um, but yeah, we, we bought it for our Christmas present and we're only on chapter one and we, this is one of the campsites in the Wild Guide. Both campsites actually from the last two nights have been there. It would have been so easy for us to just follow our plans and move on, but we just wandered up, oh, we followed the guide, followed all the way up this valley. It's actually a dead end, there's nowhere to go. Switzerland is over there um, and because of the ASCII card that Jackie can bang on about in a minute it was like 16 euros a night with electricity which is ridiculous. It's amazing that's that's less than 15 pounds a night. Um, with ASCII it's out of season and in the Alps right from probably the last week in August is out of season so yeah, we got it for £15 a night and last night's campsite was also only £16 a night. So I think we've sa we've saved about £15 already and the card cost £22. So we need to stay on maybe three more campsites and we've had our money's back. But absolutely off the beaten track, you wouldn't have a clue it was here. No signpost really to it and it's probably one of the best campsites we've ever stayed in. Morning. We had the most amazing night last night in this wild campsite. This is a sort of backdrop to it. Um, we just not going for too long a walk today. As we've had a really busy couple of days, so we're going up, not up there, but <laughs> along the side of it to a valley somewhere. And that should do us then, because we're moving. Yep. Don't know where we're moving to. We've got to make that decision later on. But we'll uh, see you later. Made it and it's only half an hour from the campsite um, we just about run out of path before it starts going uphill a lot um, absolute unbelievable bowl of a place to be 